Hello everyone, this is Mr. Smith with another art story for you guys today. This one is called Beautiful Blackbird and it is by the fabulous African-American artist, Mr. Ashley Bryan. In fact, this story is so amazing and the artwork in it is so good that it has won two different awards that we can see displayed right here on the front of the story. Now, this book has a couple of things that make it really special. One is that Mr. Ashley Bryan made all of the amazing pictures in this book by cutting and gluing all these amazing nature shapes and birds. He made a collage and he even included the scissors he used to make all the pictures in this book right here in the front cover, which I think is pretty awesome. Now the other thing that's really interesting about this story is that it's based on an old legend of an, from the Isla speaking peoples of Zambia in Eastern Africa. And the story is about how the blackbird is an artist who decorates all of the birds in Africa and gives them their markings on their feathers. So let's go ahead and read Beautiful Blackbird and see what happens. Beautiful Blackbird by Ashley Bryan. A long, long time ago, the birds of Africa were all colors of the rainbow, clean, clear colors from head to tail. Oh, so pretty, pretty, pretty. Back then, though, birds had no marks of black on their feathers. From the top of their heads to the tips of their tails, no markings of black. Uh-uh. Whether large or small, blackbird was the only bird who had it all. One day, Ringdove called all the birds to a festival in the forest. He asked them all to meet by the lake where he lived. The birds flew in from all over with a flip-flop flapping of their wings and a whirring stirring of the air. They flew down to the lake from everywhere. The birds' colors were mirrored in the waters. They were red, green, yellow, purple, orange, and blue, pink, then black. Black blackbird. Uh-huh, blackbird too. Ringdove called, cuckoo caroo, cuckoo caroo. I have a question to ask of you. Who of all is the most beautiful? The colored birds never even raised a wing. They raised their beaks and began to sing. Blackbird stands out best of all. Blackbird is the most beautiful. His feathers gleam all colors in the sun. Blackbird is the most beautiful one. The birds circled Blackbird in a beak and wing dance singing. Beak to beak, peck, peck, peck. Spread your wings, stretch your neck. Black is beautiful, uh-huh. Black is beautiful, uh-huh. They broke out of the circle for the show claws slide. Tip tap toe to the left, spin around. Toe tap tip to the right, stroke the ground. Wings flip flapping as you glide, forward and backward in a show claw slide. When the birds were into their steps, Ring Dove took Blackbird aside. Oh, Blackbird, Blackbird, cuckoo caroo, cuckoo caroo. Would you color me black so I'll be black like you? My neck is plain, and that's a shame because Ring Dove is my given name. Blackbird said, color on the outside is not what's on the inside. You don't act like me. You don't eat like me. You don't get down in the groove and move your feet like me. But come tomorrow to the sunup dance. I'll brew some blackening in my medicine gourd, and then I'll swing a ring around your neck to go with your name. The next day, the birds gathered. Blackbird stirred the blackening brew in his medicine gourd. He stirred it round and round. Then he dipped his feather brush into the pot. With his free wing, he spun Ringdove around, holding his brush to Ringdove's neck. Ring dove sang, cuckoo caroo, cuckoo caroo. See what a swinging ring of black can do. Blackbird bowed to the crowd as a chirping arose. Ring dove's black is beautiful. Beak to beak, peck, peck, peck. He's just like Blackbird around the neck. Oh, Blackbird, can we have some of that blackening too? We all need what your black can do. You're such an artist with your feather brush. A touch of your black will be good for us. 
Blackbird said, tomorrow I'll mix the rest of my black roots in a larger medicine gourd. I'll give what I can give until it all gives out. The birds danced the sundown dance, then went to nest. All through the night, the birds dreamed of black, black markings on the head, tail wings, front or back. Oh, black is beautiful. Black, black, black. Birds rose at sunup and took to their wings. Away up high, their colors filled the sky with a flip-flop flapping of their wings, a stirring whirring of the air. They flew down to the lake from everywhere. Ringdove carried Blackbird's large gourd and set it down. Blackbird stirred with a stick in his wing and said, We'll see the difference a touch of black can make. Just remember, whatever I do, I'll be me and you'll be you. Blackbird tipped his feather brush into the pot and tapped out dots. Some were large, some were small, close together or far apart. It was a challenge to Blackbird's art. With strokes long and short, he painted stripes. Blackbird swept his brush strokes steady. He drew lines only when his brush was ready in full with the black, black brew. The paint in the board gourd was getting low. Blackbird still had more to go before he had decorated the birds with black one and all. Save some for us, cried the small birds. We've been in line and we were on time. We won't step back until we get a touch of black too. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ringdove tipped the gourd. Blackbird slipped his brush way, way in. He brushed the rest of the birds with marks and arcs. He black tapped the last small bird of the flock. Then Blackbird sang, I've painted plenty, plenty, plenty. The gourds now empty, empty, empty. The birds surrounded Blackbird and sang, Our colors sport a brand new look. A touch of black was all it took. Oh, beautiful black, uh-huh, uh-huh. Black is beautiful, uh-huh. The end. So we can see how all the birds of Africa got their amazing decorations and patterns and designs from the artist Blackbird. I hope you guys enjoyed that story as much as I did. And I will look forward to seeing you for our next story. Bye.